I forgot to hit record. I mean, what? <coughs> yes, I mean bark. <laughs> Hello, Val. Here, sweetie. And would have still been trying to fuse power jack if no one told me to settle. Yep. <gasps> Let's make this. <coughs> Let's make this Yamato no Orochi. Preferably with. Actually, no, these are probably the best moves this thing's gonna get. <laughs> yes, this persona is acceptable. It fits my standards. For now. Big snake, hello. But yes, I um I will say the next time I stream Monster Hunter World will be in Iceborne. Oops. <laughs> And, uh, Hard has successfully gotten most of us, uh, into Omega Strikers. I might stream that too. <laughs> Just maybe. Oh, perfect! I need that. But I need to work on Monador. Fuck! <laughs> well, that's a goal. Ares, after Ares power charge, I'm gonna work on Matador. Cause yeah, we need to... Uh, I wanna do the next Empress before we leave, cause we can. I know we can. It is within our power to do so. And because it's a new day, I don't feel bad about going from the first floor again! Let's go! <laughs> Alright. Thirty-five, thirty-two, thirty-five, thirty. Hmm. He has Diorama. She's gonna learn Bufula. Maragion at thirty-nine. Okay. I have an idea. I, ha I have an idea. A risk. <laughs> A risk that I will take. Let's see how long it takes for me to regret this. <laughs> I was on the ninth floor. I have go homes if things get ugly, though. These guys are already not that big. Do I have another ice user that's spread ice preferably? No. No. Yes. Big angry snake. Victory! Though I wonder if I should continue to use Jack Frost because Mabufu is cheaper. I don't know, we'll see. 
Probably. But yes. More level grinding. More persona acquisitioning. And... I keep forgetting that I need to focus Ares. But that first enemy, nobody would have been able to hit it. Unless I did that. Uh Okay, good. So how is everyone else's day today? Here goes Persona! Whoa, Kanji! We can smell our damn ready! Bring it on! Play, played Sky 6 and trying to get all the achievements. Nice. That article, <laughs> that article that I found so long ago got brought up again. And I... <laughs> it was a great interaction. <laughs> Because somebody who was not in the call the entire time came in in the middle of me reading it, and he actually knew what Disgaea was. <laughs> I had to link the article so he could read it, and oh no. And if you know, you know. I've mentioned it on stream before, but it's the, uh, it's the... It's the article about how if you've played Persona 5, you should play a, the Disgaea series. But it does so under the claim that Disgaea is owned by Atlas, which is false. <laughs> and it tries to make a bunch of comparisons between the two series when most of them are reach at best. <laughs> And I, I got to share that with somebody who was actually a fan of Disgaea and knew exactly what was wrong with that article on the same level that I knew what was wrong with that article. And it was... Mm. <laughs> ah, it was... Ah! <laughs> It's, yeah, the first, they published the first one. In some areas, Koei Tecmo did the distribution in, I believe, Europe. But Atlas was responsible for the US. It's not completely baseless, but the entire article is, ba is like, trying to claim that the entire series belongs to it. And it's mentioning, like, how 5 is the most recent one, but the article had come out before 6 had officially been released. So it's just, <laughs> it's very... <laughs> it's very confident in its misinformation. <laughs> it's a pretty funny article. I mean, I do appreciate the- the trying to get people into Disgaea part. It's just, you know, <laughs> the way it was approached. <laughs> Maybe do a bit more research before you write an entire article. <laughs> But who am I kidding? There it was a it was a game or journalist article, so there are two enemies. Hang in there. You know what? Now's the time to test. Do you guys die to Mahama? Nope, they block it. And nobody can do anything because it's weak to ice. Sensei, keep it 
All right. Jack Frost. Yeah. That's honestly, in terms of like what JRPG I should play first. I don't know if it should be Disgaea or Tales of, because now that I'm doing Tales of with Heart and Scarf, um, other than the ones that we just won't be able to play unless there's an emulator for them, which I don't know how many I actually want to do that for. Like, is it okay if we play, if I play one with heart and then another by myself? Because that series is going to be very short-lived because of this pitiful Steam library for the series. Yeah. Something's up with Kanji. It's so three enemies left. Hello, did not fall. Three enemies down. Just say how about it. Cause the next the next one for disguise is four. You have problems with this guy too. Is it mechanical or is it story? Because I would understand both, depending, because there are some. I mean, it's a Disgaea plot. story and characters. I, I can only assume who it is, but I'm under the impression I could Take a shot in the dark and get it right. Well, at least, kinda. I don't know. I think back on the characters and. Great work. Is it one of the kids? Or is it Rosalind herself? Because early game Rosalind is. <laughs> Early game Rosalind is. Mm. <laughs> and I don't know how far you're in, so I don't want to say some of the other characters' names. You like Rosalind? Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I was like, if there, for me, it's like I didn't really like Rosalind uh, that much at first. But she grew on me, and I know it's intentional. The children. I forget their names all the time, but the the younger siblings. I mean, well, I don't remember their names, so I think that should tell you enough about how much I, th I think about them. <laughs> D5, thing you love is customization. You can make everyone green! Oh, that's amazing! <gasps> green! <laughs> that sounds amazing. What does Hermit do? Uh, minimap. I would like to be able to see the minimap, so I'm not gonna risk it. What chapter are you in, Jumpy? Cause... Well... I'm gonna be honest, the one thing that 2 does do that I like 
is that there are not too many characters that have names <laughs> that are party members. <laughs> you finished the Coliseum. So you know about... I don't remember her name either. Oh god. That's bad. I should know her name. <laughs> Yukimaru. Yeah. It is Yukimaru. Yukimaru and Fubuki. Is. I think is. them. Yuki-chan beat an enemy! Keep going! Unreal! They are so persistent! What? Oh god, what is episodes? I'm gonna look it up instead of asking and trying to assume. <laughs> Okay, well, you know Etna's in the game, so... Ah, the children are Taro and Hanako. That's why I don't remember their names. Okay, yeah, 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 I know where you're at. You just finished the battle tournament. So it's... It's Zenon Appears is the name of the episode. Yeah. You're too weak to fight me. I assume the characters you have issue with are Taro and Hanako. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough about Yukimaru that you would know yet to even have a problem with her. I know exactly why, too. Two enemy shadows. I can make a pretty good guess. <laughs> it's their personalities, meaning it's Hanako's behavior and then Taro's. <laughs> How do you describe it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was I was fairly neutral to the kids, and it sounds like that's kind of the thing with them. When I was playing RPG, they are not characters you can summon. They are just not in the game. In fact, I don't even know if the game even directly ever addresses their existence. <laughs> So they're definitely not it's our turn first. popular it's characters. Amazing Luckily, um I will say, they contribute less and less to the story as it goes on. I feel like, unless I'm remembering wrong, there are chapters where neither of them legitimately say anything. Or if they do, it's just like, idle talk. That is not what I wanted, but okay. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. Yeah, they're like... They're 
not important <laughs> to the story. I know mechanically though, Taro is really fucking strong for some reason. So I did use him in my final team. And I think he did the final blow on the on the boss, but you don't need to do that in order to win. It is not necessary. It's just something that I realized. I couldn't do it. And I guess you could say it's oh, it's because they're turning into demons that they behave the way they do, but eh. <laughs> uh Shh, it doesn't matter if I get this in upright or not. Cool. They're children, they're already demonic enough. <laughs> Val! No, you're okay. There are two enemies. Hang in there. I guess maybe that's why the way <laughs> the way they are. Demon children are worse than children. I couldn't do it. Again, like a lot of people, a lot of people, when they say like, "Oh yeah, what's the best games?" They usually put two at the top. I think it gets overpraised, just a tad. Um. Oh shit, <laughs> I was too far forward. Oh, this is not good. This is not the enemy that I want to be fighting. Except you can't do anything to these guys. <laughs> Well, that's <laughs> yeah, he is. It's not good. Should be fine though. Great work. Uh, yeah, I I think this guy too gets overpraised. I, I will say that it is a very good game, but to put it on this like. this threshold that impacts so many reviews of the games after. Like, 3's initial release got absolutely dragged through the mud because of 2 being right before it. And I like 3. There's nothing wrong with 3. It just doesn't have a story that has as much, I guess... I don't know. Just one enemy left. I hold I hold the opinion that because of the themes of Two's story, some people who really like that one forget that the Disguise series plots read like a dark comedy. And just because Two's is more serious in some areas does not mean that it that the lack of that in three onward should be used to undermine the plot. Undermine the plot. Because <laughs> if, because it just, I don't know, it just comes across to me as that they want the, they want a, a story retelling of two. And it's like, uh... 
It would just be the same game, then. Now, to, to say you like two's mechanics more than the others, it's like, yeah, that, that makes sense. You don't like the ability shop and stuff like that, then three and four are probably not for you. Um, five goes- five goes back to it, though. And it has a whole threshold- a whole- a whole bag of extra features and just updated mechanics from those games that make it smoother. I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, this game is not like its predecessor 2 out of 10. D5, people say story is worst one of all, but you found the story is okay. I have a very brief, like, synopsis version of what the plot is for 5. But I've always held the opinion that the plot is not the strongest part of Disgaea. <laughs> Like it's an RPG. It should have a, it should have a good plot. But they're written like the the story is told. It's obvious that the writers were having fun. Like every single game, every single one that I've played has something where they pursue an avenue involving a character and then either resolve it within that chapter and never brush up on it again or it just kind of leads into nowhere and is never used all four of them do that <laughs> the Colosseum in 2 is a good example of that It, per it introduces this character about how Adele got the, scar the scars that he has on his face, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. And that's it. Does not bring it up again. Character that had a name. I don't even remember it. And that's just what Disgaea does. Yeah, same. I was, I was, I was saying, I already forgot her name. <laughs> the relevance of that, like, plot point is only relevant for that chapter, and it is never referenced after or before. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Steam went down? What? Oh, that's not good. Hello, just the known. Or earn more money or earn less money. Well, I have plenty of money, so I'll roll the dice on this. Nope. Less money. One again. <laughs> and that's just what that's just what Disguise does. It's episodic. It's like a it's like a it reads off like an anime where every episode is a different conflict, and there is an overarching conflict that ultimately resolves itself, but the chapter itself, whatever it is focused on, is so episodic in nature that it does not get brought up again. Uh, it doesn't need to be brought up again. Because it has no relevance to the overarching plot, it's kind of more like a character flavor text moment. Which is not bad! Yes, Rise is after Kanji. I have Kanji in my party right now. A lot more story. There's a story happening at stages when main case interact and D5 has skits. Yeah. I just, like... I feel like it's the way people approach the series that kind of causes things like that. Um... 
where, yes, the whole thing with Adele and Rosalind's relationship and the development of that and the twist that it has. I will say, two has probably one of one of the more interesting twists. Um, and there are cool moments in the game for sure. But I don't really know how any of those independent moments could be seen as incredibly different or better than anything before or after it that had been done. It's... I mean, the entire story is told in a matter of here's some talking before the chapter unlocks, here's a conversation either before or after the completion of a stage, and it's like a few lines of dialogue before we move on. And then there's some talking at the end before the to be continued, in which then the to be continued screen is one of the most ridiculous aspects of the of the game. I know twos is like a new show. Because it's like the to be continued thing. The force is. I'm thinking more of the the to be continued where they're they're trying to sell you what's going to happen in the next chapter. But for like four's case, it's Valvatore is completely derailing the conversation to talk about sardines. <sighs> Will the Death Arcana? re-roll the effect of the temperance? Cause I'll take it. I don't know what the luck is for this that I've gotten him. Okay, well, time to pay the fox a visit. The news broadcasts are silly, yeah. <laughs> They're fun. Okay, luckily that only messed with at least that should have messed with. Let's check. Should have only messed with our SP. Right? Yep. Alright, get out of the party. <laughs> Hello, Fox. I have plenty of money for this. But that's kind of like what I mean about like you're always gonna have a good time if you don't treat the story super serious. Didn't even say yip as thing, so I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I was still on the first floor when it got reset again. Damn. Which instantly kills a teammate. Yeah, if you have everyone set to guard, nothing happens except for the fact that you waste an entire turn. It behaves similarly to that in two, which is somebody gets temporarily possessed and uses a skill that does a ton of damage to a party member. And there's no way to tell until you waste a whole turn guarding, because they'll switch to attack if they were affected. Yeah, I'm not rolling this. Yeah. No, I'm not rolling this. Yeah! <laughs> Powerful shadow, die. Boulders. Boulders that are weak to ice. Fun. <laughs> Do it again, honestly. Yuki Chan beat an enemy. Keep going. Don't miss. But yeah. 
The Disguise series is always, like, they have their serious moments, but the overall, like, most of how it reads off as is supposed to be fun and lighthearted. And I feel like a lot of the stricter... Um... You, if you place that restriction of, no, it has to have a super serious plot, which, if you think two is a super serious, huge doubt. <laughs> uh, But, you know, it's got this balance, and if you take all the fun out of it and say, no, you can't have fun, then yeah, three, four, five, six, and probably seven's plots are gonna read off awfully to you, because the point of it is to also have fun! to happen more often than not, just unknown. <laughs> the Katsuya puts everything into strength, because all of the personas that he has a high affinity with put their shit into strength. It's awesome. <laughs> Do Swift Strike then. Victory! I I liked three a lot. Three was the first one that I played. Like I, for me, I have this thing where either a character that I don't like at the start will grow on me, or I'll just completely ignore their existence. Um. Rosalind was the former, Taro and Hanukkah were the latter. <laughs> Two enemy shadows, you get to go first. <laughs> Yes, there was also the Speed Demon that was Ulala. If they patched out the GPS thing, yeah. If, if PS Near wasn't a thing for a 3, they'd... Hell, it would be on Steam. I would have played the Steam version if if the, if the it weren't for the fact that the game does, just does not function. If you try to play it docked into a PS TV. And I don't imagine removing that feature will be... Easy. Uh-oh. Do you think someone figured it out with mod? Yeah. Oh, yeah, modding the console. Right. Yeah, because you'd, you'd have to always deny um, system updates.
Because that's what people with modded PS3s have to do. Every it's hilarious because it's the it's the warning of the don't update your PS3. It, it's probably if you mod it, it's probably an update that'll brick it because it's detecting modded hardware. Yeah, my PS3 keeps telling me that it needs to update. There is one in March. of this year, there for the PS3. And it's, and it, they don't need to do it. There's literally no need to do it, except to, to brick modded PS3s. <laughs> Which is so unfortunate. I don't have a modded PS3, so I could do the update if I wanted, but literally that's the only reason why they push those updates for the PS3. We made it to the second floor this time! Because <laughs> the fool card decided to be death. <laughs> Okay, lightning. But I need to switch to Matador. How's everyone today? It's so scrum. No, I don't update anything. My phone is still has not gotten the uh the Apple update that's that it's trying to push out. It finally got to the point where it said like you need to update notification pops up on screen, and you can choose now or not now, and not now makes you put in your password, so don't do it automatically at, at night. But I'm like, I'm on my phone at night. I can't. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> Probably. It just needs to actually, like, <laughs> and I keep and I keep accidentally not letting it. <laughs> because Apple is at least polite and doesn't like stop what you're doing and force the update. It gets really pushy, but it never just goes, nah fuck this, and then just shuts off on you while you're using it. It'll also only ever do it if it's either plugged in or at higher than 50% when it finds the time where you're not using it. Do it now. I suppose I could. There's nothing stopping me. <gasps> Five kitties and a dog. Careful, Yuki Chan. Your defense is down. Worst case is I wait five minutes to find out dinner is ready. Ah, uh, on two cheeses? Oh, it's slow. Okay, well, good. <laughs> I think dinner is already done. Etrian Odyssey? Ooh. My wish list fat. Here goes. But it's expensive as fuck. Well, it is three games in one. For- oh! Oh, this is fast. Oh, I got it. Oh, 
<laughs> okay. I got this on sale. But, also, by the way, I'm losing frames. But it went back to green, so maybe I'll turn this off in a little bit. But we'll, we'll keep it up for now to shame it publicly. Um, that's... The NIS Spooky Bundle. Let me look the- well, actually, Steam is down. Never mind. Um, maybe it's back. Let me click on it real quick. The NIS Spooky Bundle that I bought, admittedly on sale, which- they recently add more, th more. They recently added more things to it, by the way, so I don't even have everything anymore. The NIS Spooky Bundle currently is um, well, it's not calculating me the price for what it is if you don't own everything. But if I bought it right now, it'd only be thirty six. Than buying everything independently and I own everything else. So let me look. Let me go back to the main thing. NIS Spooky Bundle. I think it was $80. It is now $108. So $108. It's already cheaper than that. Contains Yomawari Night Alone, Firefly Diary, Rose in the Twilight, Yomawari Lost in the Dark, Yomawari Midnight Shadows, the digital art books for all of those games, the and the soundtracks for the Omawari series. Those are- that's a lot more content? What is Lost in the Dark? Uh, I think it's the newest one. Yeah, October 25th, 2022 is the third Yomawari game. Uh, I bought the, the thing before it came out, so. That's already, like, I don't know. I know you can't really compare it because Etrian Odyssey is, is, an er is a JRPG and it's probably about the length of Persona Q. And I won't say- I can't say with certainty that any of the games that I just listed were of that length. But that's the bundle- that's the bundle for like... 12 things. <laughs> And you're selling- and you're saying that Etrian 1 through 3 only are 80 on sale? think I'll get that if it's at full price. I'd have to wait for like a 50% off. That does not... I won't say it's unreasonable because they put a lot of work into porting those games, obviously, but I don't think it's a good idea to do them in bunches if the bunches are gonna cost that much money. Okay. So, that means calculator time, because I can't mental math. So yeah, $40 per. It's cheaper than, than a, a, a JRPG, like, coming out. Is it like a remastered version, or is it just a port? Because that's the other thing. I won't say Nocturne is worth its price, but it is a HD remaster, so that's why they sell it for more than it probably should be. Okay, so, alright. Also, what does Hierophant do? Reverse card effect is nullified. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> 
they got it updated for one screen. Okay, yeah. Okay, the more we talk about it, the more it starts making sense. But still, I, I think I, I, I think I stand on the, uh... I think I stand on the, on the place of, like... People are gonna get turned away from that price alone, even if it is reasonable. And that perhaps maybe selling them individually... And then having the bundle offer on Steam to make it slightly cheaper than buying all three of them independently would feel less like, ooh, that's really expensive for what it is, you know? Yeah, I don't- I don't see myself getting that game- that- the trilogy- that HD remastered first three, so I say trilogy. Uh, I don't see myself getting that at full price. Depending on, like, the level of the sale, though, I would. Do I have Mox Door on? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Like, calculating everything that went into making the games... Sorry. You're listening to Casino Royale and the love interest for Bond, guess her code name. I get the feeling that it's corny. <laughs> no? What is Empress in reverse? No. Yeah, that's my fear. That's why I'm like, maybe break it up into smaller chunks. Like, I understand wanting to get them out in bunches, but if the bunches are going to be that price, then unless they are spaced out really far apart, or as every set of... There are eight, right, games? So they'd do, like, probably 3-3-2, three, three, or 3-2-3, three, three, depends. Um... Where once all three are out, you can do a bundle where you can buy all of them, and that bundle can go on sale. There's a lot of possibilities to make it where you could still get the money's worth and it not be that price. Her codename is Vesper. Oh! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> But yeah, that's the fear. Because I'm already, from from my perspective... It's a cool look. Hello, Days. Thank you for subscribing. Nine months! Let's go! Hello, criminals. <laughs> Did it say cool lurk? Yes, it did. There are three enemies. It might have said cool lurk, and it just didn't say the S. But I've learned that certain consonants in front of uh, others uh, get go silent. If the bot doesn't know how to pronounce it, uh, I think sometimes it just ignores it. <laughs> Tower. What does tower do when it's reversed? Uh, no.
Not until the Hierophant Arcana effect wears off. Because that's in reverse right now. Which means any other Arcana chance will automatically be in reverse. Or at least are more likely, quote unquote, to be reversed. Um. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Um. Even from the perspective that I have, I'm. Who wants to play the Etrian Odyssey games is looking at that price and go, oh, I'm gonna wait. Until it's cheaper. I I wait till it's on sale, which can impact the moment it gets launched. Because depending on how long it takes for the game to go on sale and how much off, until somebody, you know, looks at that and goes, that's reasonable, is like... Also, I think I stopped losing frames, so I'm gonna hide that. It was doing it for a little bit, though. You want a year of Etrian Odyssey? <laughs> if it takes me a long time to get all of them, that may be the case, who knows? Couldn't get away with each EO game on Steam being twenty dollars, but again, it's an HD remake, and, and P4G was pretty much only a port. Yes, it was. It was also a port that didn't work for every single person because there were case, there were case sensitive issues that people would have, <laughs> which is an interesting phenomena. Good work, Sensei. That's one so far. I am. But a phenomena, nonetheless. There's proof of it happening in in my clips. And it didn't happen to everyone. <laughs> uh. But it happened to enough people that there was a patch. By made by fans. Um Yes. <laughs> yeah, that- that- exactly! Jumpy is- that's a prime example of it's like- Even there were people when I was like, so is this like an issue? When it was happening, chat did not have a reply because everyone- Everyone else who had played the game on Steam never saw that issue. Because it just didn't happen to them. It's just a- it's just a uniquely depends on your setup, I guess. Actually, no, I can keep this, because they're weak to fire. I'll just have you go attack them. Four enemies! You gotta hang in there! I am thou. Three enemies down. Beautiful, Yuki Chan! So yeah. I think an HD remaster makes sense, because they want them to be remastered. It, it is, at its core, a port. But it's a port that's trying to have improved quality from its original, rather than just placing it on Steam in its original state, which some people get turned off by. But also, if, it's, if the price is going to be that high, that can also deter people from playing the game. They're kind of fighting a lose-lose situation. And I'm just like, I'm just shooting out ideas of like what could have been done, but that possibly, probably could still not work. Because they want to get all eight out quickly, right? They want the, people want the entire series. They're going to present them with the entire series. So they got to do them in bunches, which there are two enemies understandable. But it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. I mean, it sounds like they plan to. 
I imagine one through three is testing the water, similarly to bringing portable on. Um. Steam. Like, I don't know. Maybe they won't do all eight. But. I mean, there's there's people who want to play a lot of the series. I mean, I look at- I was shown a screenshot of the possible timeline of all of Megaten, and oh, goodness. But, I thought there were. Maybe I'm crazy and I'm confusing it with, uh, East. Etrian Odyssey video game series. Main series. Four, five, Nexus. Remakes. Uh, Untold 1 and 2. This is up to 10 mainline? Okay. Cameos in Tokyo Mirage Session FD. So it seems like there are six and then two remakes called Etrian Odyssey Untold and Etrian Odyssey 2 Untold. And then Etrian Mystery Dungeon. And Mystery Dungeon 2, but those are spin-offs. So technically, yes, there are eight, but I imagine that they'd probably only do one through five and Nexus. That would be really cool, Alice. That would be. Shit. Well, that's fine. Better than a... penalty card. But Nexus was in 2018, so that's unlikely. I think... Let me see. Oops, I'm trying to open Discord twice. That's the wrong... Similar icons. Yep, as soon as you type the TA in tactics, the, the autofill history stops giving you suggestions. Five years ago is a long time. Yeah, it's not a short time. <laughs> I mean, um, Lizer was in here earlier. I don't know if he still is, but uh, we were talking about. The Gunvolt series, Azure Striker Gunvolt 1 through 3. I didn't know there was a third one before our conversation, but I was looking at the Steam page for it. That game was originally on the 3DS, and they they had to make a, a special layout for the Steam version. I think it works. I, I, I mean, based on, like, the image. Because your perspective on life makes you makes you think that you're old when you hear something that was a game when you were a kid. Just be impressed instead of frightened, and it should be fine. Especially for games that still hold up. Hello, Legion. Goodbye, Legion. <laughs> Ooh, 
Lovers. What is lovers in reverse? Wait. Yeah. This is actually good. I'll take it. Overwrite my Hierophant Arcana. Original Persona 5 is from 2016. It was going to be 2014, and then they got- and then it pushed to 2015, and then it pushed 2016. Hmm. <laughs> Watch that original trailer, by the way, when there's like next to no anything. Um. Shit, I was too close to him. Um, when there was next to no anything that was shown from it, where it's just the five chairs, and the you are a slave want emancipation. <laughs> like, even just that, and then like some of like the really early stuff. And you go, wow, the game really took a turn in terms of, like, direction after a while. Somewhere in the development process, things went... Things... Things changed. <laughs> I didn't even know what all was going to be in the, in the original concept until I was told, but... It's not what we... It, well, it's not in the final product, <laughs> that's for sure. Smart bomb. <laughs> that was twenty years ago. There are two enemies. Hang in there. Cool. It's weak to fire, but you could win anyway. I was four. <laughs> <laughs> so that one really doesn't impact me. The OG PS1 had a slowdown. Well, isn't that, like, also... Oh, God, where was I hearing this conversation? Where the PS3 isn't super optimized? So, unless there's, like, a specific game that came out that knew the hardware for it... Most games are locked at 30 FPS. Just in general. I smell two enemies. Beat them up. Go forth. I don't remember where that conversation took place, but I remember that two being a conversation down. that I heard. And I don't remember what game was being used as an example that was one of the ones that actually could run in 60. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, I don't need King Frost. Ah, oh, yes, I have a chance to rectify the mistake of the previous lovers. <laughs> sure. Flip it again. If it stays down right downward, it doesn't really change anything. Oh, okay. It summons more. <laughs> okay, 26 is Mudo Boost. This guy learns Rampage, which is what we need. 
for Empress. Oh, you want to talk about a game that I that I forgot that I had, or did I mention this? Oh no! Oh, I'm having a bad day all of a sudden. I don't remember what I've mentioned on stream before. Oh no! I suppose I can just go in on just say it anyway, and then chat can you guys can decide and go. You know, I heard this one already, or not? Is the uh? I was reminded of a very, very terrible Wii game that I owned. And I thought in the middle of the night, because that's when I remembered it. Oh, I should play that on stream sometime. That would be really funny. And then I remembered that I didn't own it anymore because I got rid of it. Thank you. <laughs> and the, uh... The game that I was thinking of... Actually, bringing it up... I realized that I... <laughs> that there's another one... That also came to mind. Um... The one that I was thinking of in the middle of the night was... Naruto... Dragon Blade Chronicles. <laughs> And I'll bet some of you have no idea what that game is, or if it ever are, 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 are like half convinced it doesn't exist. Look it up, it's real. It's real, and I owned it at one point. <laughs> and I wish I still did, because I would have played it on stream and it would have been really funny. Uh, and then I would have gotten copyright claimed because Naruto. It was Naruto Shippuden. Dragon Blade Chronicles. And it was a really awkward platformer with real-time combat with a with well, a sword, Dragon Blade. And it had it was bad. <laughs> it was not a good game. I had so much fun with it, but it was like Oh yeah, Pokemon Revolution. Do I also do I own that game still? <sighs> Man, I we used to have a lot of Wii games. We got rid of so many. And I feel bad now because I think about them sometime and go, oh yes, and then I go, oh wait, I don't own it anymore. Oh no. <laughs> but the other one that just popped into my head was the Crash Bandicoot Mind Over Mutant game, which was the crash- the crash era of a beat-em-up, and it's not a good game either. <laughs> it's really not a good game either. Runs better than Dragon Blade Chronicles, but that doesn't mean it's a better game. <laughs> and I- and the thing is, is I bought those games on purpose. I saw them and I was like, this is... bad. I want to play it. <laughs> and then I played it once. And that was the mental state of not expecting to be streaming games. Like, I'm impressed with the fact that I've managed to hang on to, uh, my PS3 and all of the games on it, but that's because there are a lot of games that I actually really like on it. I just also to ha happen to have a bunch of them that I've either never played because I tried a little bit of it and hated it, or... Uh... Oh, she's like, no, I want to keep it. 
I was about to get another like the the thought process was the this looks terrible. I wonder if it's actually as bad as it is. Which maybe that's where the whole like you shouldn't form an opinion until you until you play it yourself comes from because I played I play I I, I have completely I had forgotten about some of the games that I played like the Dragon Blade Chronicles I had forgotten that that was a game that I had played and <laughs> I had forgotten it so hard that I remembered it, thinking I still owned it when I in fact did not, and it made me sad. Kanji, your health's really oh, a lost opportunity. At least I have um, a bunch of other Wii games. I have some really good ones though. Like I like Sonic and the Secret Rings, but that game's really bad and also it lags really fucking hard. I don't know if that's the capture card not cooperating with me, or if the game literally just runs like that and I had forgotten. But then I also have Okami on the Wii, and I kind of want to play it. Problem with that though. I don't know how well that would run. And I've debated if I played Okami, I'd get the Switch version. Because it'd be easier to control. And look nicer. Just a little bit. I mean, the art style holds up because of how artistic it is. Because of the style. Um, but... The Switch has better motion controls. Murasaki Mist, Akira's Journey, has the worst English translation ever, and an amazing glitch where if you get knocked on your back, if you press the left analog stick before you stand up, you'll slide around on your back and then do the standing up animation while sliding! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> that sounds amazing! <laughs> Hello, Star Spotty. All right, Theta, enjoy your lurk. Moon's still effect. I don't want to get. I don't want to get rid of it. That's why you bought it. <laughs> I've also bought some games to try. Out of spite. I've bought games out of spite, where I've seen somebody do a review that was bad. Like, it was like a, a, a this game is bad review. That's what I mean by that. Not that the review was bad, that the, that the game review said this game bad. <laughs> and I've... I've been, they've been proven right before, but... Yeah, I bought Trinity Universe. Because somebody did a review for that game. That said, this game is bad. I'm fairly neutral on Tr Trinity Universe. In fact, I want to play it on stream. Because I know it's... Aged very poorly. And it also launched on the wrong generation of console. It feels... It looks and feels like a PS2 game. But it came out on the PS3. And I think that's probably something to do with the development time. Of it. And that's an NIS title, by the way. Trinity Universe. But this is coming from, I had watched a, a review uh, from the same channel about how Disguise 3 was bad, and I was like, no, you're actually, well, I can't really say you're wrong, but I enjoyed it, therefore, your view on it saying don't buy the scheme doesn't make sense. Ow. Fuck. Um, literally the only one, and I got it. <laughs> Uh, so I did, I did, I, I had already owned Disgaea 3 at that point, so I was like, well, I just wanted, I just want to personally, like, privately discredit this person and play a game that they said is bad and derive enjoyment from it. <laughs> you even 100%ed it, oh no! <sighs> there are two enemies. 
enemies. Hang in there. Akara is natural born killer. <laughs> Ghosts! Defeated! I love these achievement name descriptions. Oh my god. Eye demons are horrible. Eye demons are wicked and intelligent. Still, they were subdued. <laughs> oh no! <gasps> A historian in hell. First human in hell. Thugs dead! Thugs dead, colon, like a boss! Sometimes humans are worse than demons. <gasps> oh, that's wonderful! And the truth about Lord Uriki. Lord Uriki is not a humble merchant. I can't believe it. <laughs> Rings are cool. <laughs> Best sword ever. Best sword in the world. <laughs> That's <gasps> Okay, this is the last one I'm gonna read. <laughs> Settling uh, or sorry, setting. An old score with Bu Busiris. Busiris, last time you ran away after killing my friend. No, this time, I'm afraid. Also, that was one sentence with two commas in it. <laughs> I think I got it? No way to know for sure, but... And the rest of the game is a cakewalk. Oh no, that's not a good sign. Go for it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. And all of the trophy images are the same picture. Oh. <laughs> you gotta hang in there. Here goes. Persona. It ain't going down. Uh oh. Ow. Right, ice. Well, I happen to have that, so... <laughs> Psych! <Hooray> man! <laughs> That's... <laughs> Alright, fatal end. Nice. 38 is cruel attack. Yeah, it's... <laughs> but yeah, um... Trinity Universe, trying to trying to keep the thing that I was saying. Trinity Universe is very, I was very meh uh, with. I do want to play it again uh, in a stream setting because I don't feel like it's not like Mugen Souls where I was like frightened by what the game was going to be about, <laughs> to where I was like maybe I shouldn't stream this. <laughs> like I got through most of the story. It's it's pretty fine. It's all right. Um, I liked the combat. Although it's fairly basic. Um, Star Ocean 5. Star Ocean 5 was one of those where I had started playing it and was like, this is alright. And then I saw a review that was like, this game is trash. Thumbs down. And I was like, well, I'm enjoying it, so I think you're wrong. And then I got to the end of the game and I was like, hmm. They were kind of right, though. Oh. <laughs> wind. Uh, do I have a persona with wind? Or record of Argorist War? I have Argorist War Zero. That one was weird content, too. No! Well, it was... The audio is skipping and I don't know why. 
for me at least. Record of Argus War Zero, yeah. into that game it plays like Final Fantasy Tactics and Disgaea and all that but the visual novel style of the storytelling they do that thing they do that thing where they animate quote unquote animate a still image of a character so they'll so it they'll draw the character and then they'll animate them by giving them slight movements to make it seem like they're breathing and then on a separate layer behind the illustration and in front of it they'll add things like eye movement and blinking and that's pretty normal Right, there's, there's a couple that do that. However, whoever was responsible for the timing of that idle animation did not either do it right or just thought that, yeah, no, this is good. So the characters, while standing still, look like they're breathing really, really fast and they have shifty eyes and are constantly br blinking and looking side to side. It enters an, a level of uncanny valley where it's like, this is not how- that's not how people- people. You don't blink that fast. You don't, like, not look in one direction for an extended period of time before looking to the side. And you don't breathe like you're- you, you need an inhaler. It's... yeah. It was- it was creepy, I didn't like it. <laughs> and that, that's why I didn't want to keep playing the game. I was like, hmm. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do Mastower. It's lions, but they don't resist physicals. Yeah, probably. I guess because it was the big conversation about, was gameplay good? I was so afraid of those models, I did two battles. I will say that the tutorial was super handholdy. But there was enough of it that was like, oh yeah, so it's like Disgaea rules to be like, okay, yeah, the basis is the same. It's you you have your turn, the enemy has their turn. You walk up to an enemy and you use either a basic attack or an ability, and the direction that your character faces, as well as the direction that the uh, uh, target faces, depends on evasion rate and how much damage the character takes. That's about as far as I got. I didn't really get really f I didn't get that far into it to see what other mechanics were there. But I will also say that the game... Because I was in Chapter 1, or essentially the prologue. The game spoils you what happens if you read the character descriptions. Because they don't update as the plot progresses like in Persona 2. They just have the static thing. So the first thing I knew was that the protagonist character that I was playing was not the protagonist I was going to be. Because it mentioned the character that I was that's supposed to be the protagonist's son. And I was like, oh, I'm dead, aren't I? I die. <laughs> At least, uh, maybe not, but I know that I have a kid. <laughs> you 
And there was like a weird romance thing where, depending on whether or not you agreed with certain characters of the opposite gender, would gain or lose points, and when they reached certain points threshold, their outfit would randomly, automatically change into something different. So, in the third dialogue cutscene, the girl that I had agreed with and got points with appeared on screen in a high school girl uniform. It wasn't even a, you got this unlocked, would you like to put it on? It was just automatic, and I got whiplash because I was like, what the fuck are you wearing? <laughs> I mean, it's more flattering and less revealing than what you were wearing before, but... When and where did you find and decide to, to put that on? And why? <laughs> also, hello, Venus Eagle. Oh, that's fun. Hold that thought for one second. She <laughs> just runs off screen to change. <laughs> It would be a, a funky experience. I've heard nothing, actually, about Record of Argus War, like the series, but Zero was just bizarre. It was just- I was put off by the visuals in the visual novel segment, which is, you know... Alright. Good night, day night fall. <sighs> ah, oh no, do not yawn. But yeah. I wonder. <laughs> Great work. Getting a PS TV is why you moved from PS3. Yeah. I wish the I wish they the consoles had reverse compatibility. I could play- I wouldn't have to have two consoles. I say that like I don't still have my Wii, just don't use it at all, because I have a Wii U. Trails of Cold Steel and Final Fantasy X Vita versions was the death of PS3 for you? Makes sense. What I'd really like is a PS2, so I could just try to- I could start amassing a collection for PS2 games. Because I can at least buy PS1 games and not have to buy a PlayStation 1. But also, the cost of games is expensive. Because remember when I said I used to have Dragon Blade Chronicles? Have I gotten a little stronger? When I owned it, I initially bought it for $20 at a Best Buy. Used. Now, it goes for 40 to 50 online. They were expensive ten years ago. I don't want to know now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know fire isn't it, so I'm gonna heal. Don't know about lightning, though. 
Time to check. Here goes. That's our con we can oh, it is! Ready. Second console and you played Gresham playing you bought in really rare games. Yeah, it's like, ugh. Sometimes the big draw of portable or PlayStation Portable is getting PS1 games you couldn't afford. Yeah. Like I, I get it, but for me it's like I intentionally bought my PS3 after the PS4 launched because I knew that they were gonna do clearance of like yeah people are gonna be buying the ps4 they don't they're not gonna buy the ps3 but there was still enough in stock because they still had to you know stock them i inevitably had to cave and get a ps4 though because the lifespans of these guys is crazy which probably gonna do the same for the ps5 i can't really calculate how long those consoles will last but I'd say I want to say I bought the PS4. Shadows, you get to go first. Two years before the PS5 was announced, it was definitely when people were saying, "Why isn't there a PS5 yet?" I don't know that they will that, uh... I mean, maybe now that the Steam Deck... Yeah, Vita and PS2? Yeah. I mean, they have to... They have to re... Like... Yeah. PS... PS4 lasts a long while. But I think it's because Sony and Microsoft... That's what a PS TV is. Oh, that. Or wait. Oh yeah, you can swap the memory. Okay, so it isn't exactly like it. I was thinking like, wait, how does the PS TV work again? <laughs> I auto click that. Is the Vita without screen or buttons just a regular console? Ah, yes. Come here, Take Mikazuchi. I understand now. And they go for a lot of money on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much there's so much money that getting it in a bid for over $200 is a steal maybe not anymore but I remember somebody was somebody participated in an eBay bid or auction an eBay auction um and the price got once I want to say it was like one one sixty to one eighty that range ish. It's very small, very small, very small. But the reason why I, I'd say like. They're not gonna do that is because Microsoft and uh, Sony have stopped trying to. They ignore Nintendo. <laughs> Five enemies? Don't get discouraged. They ignore Nintendo. They they don't they don't participate in the console war type stuff 
on the level. Like, with the whole motion control thing, they did that for a while. Sony did the handheld thing for a while. And... <sighs> Sales-wise, they've just... Kind of almost always lost that battle. <laughs> like, now it's more of a, like, damn, I wish I had this. But in the moment, like, the likelihood that somebody owned a DS was higher than the likelihood of them owning a PSP. Or a Vita. Oh, we've already we, I mean, we've already had this conversation. There's a lot of games on on PSP and, and Vita, but in terms of like the popularity due to the gimmick that the con that the handheld had made it have a larger draw. And it was the same with motion controls. Like thinking backwards on it, the Wii was probably. The Wii is terrible. No, it's not even a probably. The Wii's motion controls are, are garbage. They're not very good. But they were better... They were the, the ones who pioneered... Nintendo was the one who pioneered the motion control thing. And, despite being terrible in retrospect, were better than the PS Move and the uh, Xbox Connect. But since then, it's either- it's- I don't think it's a matter of them having given up. It's a matter of, like, Nintendo excels where they want- Please come again. Uh, <laughs> Nintendo excels where they want it to- like, they excel where they excel, and they borderline fail in a bunch of other categories. So I, I've always felt, especially with the PS4 and the Xbox One, and then later the- the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. They just, yeah, they don't, they just, it feels like they ignore Nintendo. Because I, I definitely felt it with the PS4 and the Xbox One that the Switch was kind of only made to try to participate and make the console war three ways. And then Nintendo was just like, yeah, here's the Switch, but it definitely did not launch at the same time. In fact, I, it was first, right? It came out before the PS5 and the, uh, and the Series X, unless I'm crazy in which it was after, but it was not the same time. It was not at the same time as the other two. Like, I don't remember who's told, who said this, but I agree with the statement of... Nintendo makes their devices with gimmicks in mind. They usually have, like, a very unique mechanic. Like, the DS is dual screens with the bottom being touchscreen, the 3DS having 3D, the 2DS having not 3D because the 3D hurts. <laughs> Wii was motion controls, Wii U was the gamepad, also motion controls, and the Switch is a console that doesn't have to be... a console that is also portable. Okay, so the Switch was first. Okay, good. I'm, I'm glad I remembered that correctly. Um, their objective is not making something that's super powerful or, or interesting, and they really could care less. Um, like, they're not worried about what the library will be, because Nintendo also makes their own games, so their console... their games are designed for their console. Let me try this. Um... It missed. It was worth a shot. Um... They're not... They've kind of, That's kind of like... That's what their thing is. And for a while... Sony and Microsoft tried to do the same or similar as a means of competing. 
realized they were not as good at as it as Nintendo was, and then in the future they were just kind of like, eh. Let them excel at what they excel at. We'll do our own thing. Empress. This could be upright. What do I think of the Steam Deck? I do not own one. But I have never heard... I have so far never heard anything negative about it. Like, people have... People have... People sing praises for the Steam Deck. I know some people are like, it's not really an option financially. Um... But people really like it, because some games that are on Steam would thrive as a handheld game more than they would as a Steam game. If that makes sense. And the Steam Deck provides that. So many things weak to fire on this floor. We just keep running into these lions, is what happens. Yeah. Vita was gimmicky at first. You play play. You prefer playing t on TV over portable. Yeah. It's just like it's the matter. It's the convenience of it of being able to just put the console in your pocket, which is you know what handhelds provide. And that was something that Nintendo just did. They definitely won the handheld. The battle of, like, handhelds. Microsoft didn't even try, I don't think. Yeah, Steam Deck would be nice because it's consistent. Also, if you have cloud saves and it's the same account, then you could, similarly to the situation with a PS TV or a Switch, but with, like, non-existent steps. <laughs> um, that data, at least it should be, it would update automatically. Oh, meaning you don't have to mess around to figure out how to get a game to run since other people have the exact same console and know the settings. Ah, yes. Wind. Oh, I don't have Yosuke. Oh, I wish I had Yosuke. <laughs> Luckily, Yamato no Orochi has Garula. <laughs> and he missed. Yeah, that's like, that's kind of like, I imagine that's what it's going for, like, it, it is, it is really, competing with the, um, with the Switches being able to just go like, oh, I have to go somewhere, but I'm going to, like, sit in a waiting room or something. And you're like, oh, I need something to do instead of playing on my phone, just take your Steam Deck, or take your Switch. Open it up, play a game while you're sitting around. Yeah, that's true. You can use it at you can use it as a PC and download uh, emulators, so you can have emulation. You still argue that PC gaming can be better if you know what you're doing and have a nice PC. Yeah. Fire works well on it. This will be easy. Two enemies, charge through them! Come, Konohana Sakia! You can 
John Peter? We have a ready. All right, we're running a little low on SP now, I think. Not crazy low, just you know. What does Hermit do again? Hermit is mini map. Don't eat it. Yeah. I like my second monitor, but I also intentionally I wasn't able to do two monitors until I got a larger table desk stand, I guess, ultimately, considering how often it's uh, console games that I'm playing. It's a weak opponent! This'll be easy! Win, but I need Mafador back. Four enemies, you've got to hang in there. Okay, try it again. Don't after this, but try it again. Okay. Amazing, Sensei. You beat two of them. I am thou. Okay. Oh yeah, because these guys are weak to win. Oh, is this the room that I think it is? I won't always be chummy with Matador. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. There's a war already back on the seventh floor. Dang. Get a good kill rush, Here Kanji. Nice. Underestimate me, and this is what you get. Ooh. It's because I've been sitting comfortably. Ah. Don't get too comfy. <laughs> Why? Why do you ask that as I look at how long I've been live for? Oh god. Good. Okay, I have no idea what this thing is weak to. It resists. <laughs> It resists physicals, so that's great. Oh, well, magic was fine then. <laughs> I am getting hungry. Just a tad. We're already right back on the seventh floor, dang! I've gotten so many death cards at the start, but now I've made it all the way to floor 7 with these two, and... Update my phone. Hmm. 
Never! Okay, eyes are blessed. I'm gonna try bless. Oh wow, the hand is weak to- okay. Hello, Cosbox. The cool kids update their phones. Are these guys weak to fire? We don't know. Wait, no, they're neutral. We know this. But I'm still gonna use it. Smooth, Yuki chan. Two enemies defeated. Damn, couldn't finish it. Great work. Okay. The cool kids. The cool kids update. Well. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Also, where did all my keys go? I'm running out of keys. That's the wrong button. I gotta check the other side, and then we'll go back to the 8th floor. We're almost back to the floor that I was on when I ended stream last. Which, because of everybody's SP bars, was... Involuntary ejection via death card. I did. I think I have like five now because I keep opening gold chests. I should probably stop doing that. But I, other than Yukiko, I haven't gotten another weapon, and I know there's like two per. I want to say I went the wrong way. Somebody got stuck. Kanji got stuck, and Yukiko can't follow. Oh, they're there. I accepted the death card, it was totally voluntary. I suppose that part, yes. <laughs> and I do know what the death card does, so... It wasn't like I was surprised. <laughs> the first time, maybe, but none of the, none of the other times, yeah. though. Come on, floor, I need to redeem! <laughs> Four enemies left. It's a weak opponent. Oh no, fires, whatever. It doesn't really matter, so I'm just gonna have her defend. He can't <laughs> well, that's awkward. Oh, yeah, no, there's no way. Watch there be another update, and then I'm more updated than you. Good work, Sensei. That's one so far. Run? Um. No, I don't think I. I think I'll be fine. Yeah, there we go, we're good. They're not so tough. I am now. One enemy! Fight! Fight! Out of my sight, punks! Though I may want to switch to Pyrojack just so I can get some back. Oh, yep, and Model Door has Rampage, so that's perfect.
All right. Smack. It's our turn mm. first. There's three enemies. Yep. <laughs> Two enemies down. Wonderful, Sensei. You are easy. weak to wind. I don't have that, I don't think. Nope. Not on Pyrojack, I don't. Wow, no Arcana chance. I'm surprised. It's gonna let me get to the ninth floor. Yeah, Kanji's caught up and is getting ahead. Chie is behind again. Yukiko is above and beyond, but I think we're at the threshold where I... Unless something goes catastrophically wrong, I don't think a character is just going to die. I don't know if I have lightning skills on me. But the enemy guys. This one's tough. Don't use physical attacks. <laughs> that one's a freezer. Yes. realize something. Kanji doesn't have the SP for this, so I need to switch. Well, moment of truth, do I have something with Zeo skill? Yes! I have power. I also have Unicorn, if I want to do that. Uh, Monzianga at 34. Maybe I should work on him. <laughs> Well, I can also work on Mothman! I know what Lamia is gonna get used for. Okay, so let me use. Let me use Unicorn. <laughs> Power! <laughs> Wonderful! That did five, almost 500 damage. It did 469 damage. That one did only 451, but that's still a lot. <laughs> Goodbye, Titania. Amazing set. All right, powered up. You think I was on her way to getting Moragi on? And switch back to Pyro Jack. So that way when my turn starts, I just get a free 8 SP. There's the stairs. And on to the 8th floor again. <laughs> ah! Very well. I will take a break. Ugh, a break I shall take. All right. Oh, 
Well, moment of truth. How many keys? Seven. I got another purple suit! That's good. <laughs> it would be a very hype... Uh... What does Kanji have right now? Okay, he can have the metal jacket then. <laughs> uh, you would feel very amped while uh, <laughs> fusing, but I can't imagine it would be. It'd be the same if after a while, but. <laughs> okay, here's a bunch of stuff. Okay, fire. And then ice. Luckily, I think the idols just inflict enrage on themselves. So I'll just. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, there we go. Oh, never mind, it was on us. For once. It's fine, though! Defeated. Marvelous, you ah, it ain't going down. It's capable of using Valiant Dance on us. It had been avoiding that. I don't have a closed grin face. Not that my camera would be able to properly get that. But... Whoa! And there I go! It is exactly what I wanted! Yes, I would like to protect you. Shh! Val? No! Not seeing the door of the Velvet Club. <laughs> He's so loud, though. <laughs> wow, Yukiko does not have a lot of HP. Her SP is at 300. Alright, time to open the Empress. Fuse results. Matador with Mahama, Gidon with Rampage. Ipondatra? Well, actually, I saw it with Lamia, so that's already a spooky sign. But luckily, I have the I have the materials because this says Matador with Ipondatra. I don't know what that would make, but it did not say that Matador and Lamia would make Gidon, and yet here we are. I of course need Rampage on it, else it won't work. Fusing. growth too there it is and he gets Mahama as well in my greatness I have come to serve you okay July 20th is when I'll be able to do Empress Rank 5. Rare Valbark. Okay, well, I need to see this.
<laughs> it was fine, by the way. He just... It was just weirdly pitched, even for him. Maragion, that's good. All right. Back out! Get back in! <laughs> Sup, Margaret? <laughs> I've completed my analysis on the bark. <laughs> yes. Welcome. To and I wanted to ride on it for a bit. Okay. I think. I think. Mm. Well, there's rank four. Up next is. Bet it's the same. Yep, Neko Shogun with Bufala. Meaning I need one of the Mitamas to know that. But I suppose it. I don't imagine that'd be difficult. I still have to wait till the 20th of July for cross fusions to become a thing. So. It ain't happening right now. Gorgon? Hmm. And then there's Virtue. Oh, yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Compendium. Register. Give that bad boy rampage, she need it. <laughs> Alright, and the rest I can leave alone. Alright, fusions. Let's look at some triangle stuff. I... Hmm. Does she use them when you fight her? I don't know. I don't think so. Ooh, the walls are gonna be annoying. Oof. I would want mine charge. That's the problem. But is Samael even a good option for one to receive Mind Charge? It doesn't- it's starting to not really look like it. <laughs> or Tuna, maybe. Let's not mess with those yet. Let's go at the bottom here. I don't think it matters what these have, yeah. Well, 
all confused. All right. Thank you for that, Persona. Is there a s No, there's another- you know, well, there's Fuki, but... I think I'd get more out of putting him in a triangle fusion, which is the problem, because it means a sec an extra persona that could inherit- that could pass something on. I already have Dawn, so I can't do that. He's about to learn Mazionga. I shouldn't do that to Unicorn yet. <laughs> I haven't used Mikami at all, either. But I kinda just fused him because he's hanged. I don't imagine Smail learning a physical. Immediately gets rid of it for Pazuzu, yes. <sighs> so good, good idea. <laughs> I am level 38, so I should make something. <laughs> Only, but let me look at some triangle. It's Jack Frost, Mikami. Wait two levels and can I can make uh Yatagarasu. I could do ooh Oh I think I found out what I'm gonna do. I think I found what I'm gonna do. Off, man. <laughs> it beginneth againeth. The least that I need is my charge. Getting Agilao or Bufala would be good. Getting Bufala with Ice Boost would be very good. But I only really want the Mind Charge. And I don't think I need to explain too much why. <laughs> Given the three skills that it just has. One of those. <laughs> Yeah, Zyonga could also be good. But I just need Mind Charge. And the thing is, is I, I think in Golden, I did the exact same thing. Except I didn't have to do this, um, <laughs> specifically, because I could just choose Mind Charge. <laughs> I wonder if history will repeat itself in the sense that I'll get the Magician skill card in the upright position and it'll make Megido Megidola. Or Boof- well, I think I'd had Boofula and I gave it- and it gave it Boofudine. That or Mabufudine. It did something. It made it stronger. <laughs> That's what it did.
Hello. Welcome back. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm in the velvet room again. I know what I said. But come on! Not even one! Oh yeah, Tauti learns Mind Charge, I forgot. Well, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But now that I know he learns it naturally, I wonder if I shouldn't even do that. Hmm. Oh no! Shit, was it a glass one? Because if so, ooh, I hope you were able to pick up all the pieces. Yeah, I think so. No rank, because it's tower. No plastic, thankfully. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, and then it was a fusion fail. That would be- I would be so sad. <laughs> Silly little gremlin guy. Yes, the mighty sheep. <laughs> Alright. Up next. Ares. I can make Mithra with power. That's an idea. I don't want to get rid of Gorgon. Ooh. Orthrus. <laughs> but no. <laughs> no, I can't even do it anyway. Hmm. But the problem is, is he going to learn a physical move? Is Seal Bomb a physical move? Yes, it does. Yes, it is. So I could power charge that. Encounter would be nice. Counter power charge. Let's let's go for that. It's only two skills. He can learn four. There's hope. Got Mazio and Hamo I don't really need, but So now they're all <laughs> they're now they're all in some ale. <laughs> Haven't started temperance. That's fine though. Alright. Now, just to be sure, there isn't anything else. I suppose Mithra is a fairly low level. Pazuzu with Gorgon. Orthrus with Yamato no Orochi. Hanuman. Oh, oh. Imagine playing the older versions of Shin Megami Tensei 3 and not the remaster and being stuck with RNG skill inheritance. People fight. 
People fight for the RNG skill inheritance. They say it's better. I am neutral. I prefer being able to choose. <laughs> So knowing that it's not random in Nocturne HD does make me happy. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> you prefer, but you'll still suffer. Yes. It's not a... It's not an... Uh, it's not a game changer or, or, a, or an, uh, I guess, a game ender for me. I should bring, I should trade him out from Yosuke and Chie. I have to be the healer, though. Do I have a persona that can do that? Literally, no. I got rid of all of my personas that had something higher than Media. Oops. Well, I was trying to go for some specific skills. I guess the fastest way to test would be to do this. And it's like, yeah, I have Recarm. I have Media. Uh, n not nothing else, though. Oh, interesting. Replacing the burger with chicken. Ooh. So much do I want equipped. I don't need Power Jack on right now anymore. I guess we're gone. The ones that are the lowest level. What does Mether got on him? Oh yeah. Power charge seal bomb. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Old base seasoning is good. Same courtesy that the other the other ones got. First floor. Hmm. As I drink my sugary coffee, because I can't drink it straight. I was standing still for so long I thought my PS3 crashed. I was thinking about what to do. I wasn't sure. Two enemies, charge two up. That's some thick skin. Someone finish it off. Yosuke pounded an enemy. Yikes. It's tough. Don't give up, Yosuke. Amazing. Oh, nice dodge me. Oh yeah, he has the purple suit. Whew. It moved fast enough that I was concerned. Alright, there's Bufula. Yeah. Alright, goodbye, Bufu. Ice boost at 36. Fuck, I think Skullcracker goes. Well, no. No, maybe not. Let me look. Let me look. <laughs> Rampage is good, though. But the confusion... Uh... It's... Mm, I might get rid of Assault Dive. Mm, 
Yeah. Golden has it where it's a it's a social link uh, earned skill. But also Suzuka Gongen has no weakness, so. <laughs> Golden was most certainly rebalanced. Let's see. Oh, a third purple suit. There we go. I think everyone has the armor from this dungeon. And Yukiko has two of her weapon, I'm fairly certain. Let me check. Yep. May I have two heart I have two Harlot's Mercies. The one that's on that Yukiko is holding and the one that I got after. <laughs> scary. Remember, all of their armor is hidden under their clothes. I, yeah, it's probably because we're a higher level than these guys now, but... <laughs> Actually, that's a good... That's a good idea. Uh, it's a weak opponent. This will be easy. Yukiko is nine levels higher than these guys. <laughs> oh no. No, it is not. And it's not golden where there's costumes. Damn, it's not going down. This is just what they wear. Summer and winter uniform. to Zio. I have Mazio on this guy. May as well. Three enemies down. Good wow, I'm a high I'm strong enough that Mazio almost kills them. I was constantly changing people's outfits. There were some that I didn't wear. There were some that I wore that I had them wear for a little bit just to see what they looked like and then went and then I got really excited about how, uh, if you wore the Persona 3 uniforms, uh, they all, all of their victory animations and statements matched a character from Persona 3. Excluding Koromaru and Shinjiro. Two enemies. It's an easy For opponent, but obvious reasons. <laughs> Two enemies, charge through them! 
And I thought it was cool. And then the Feather Man. Please be upright. Nice. Then who the fuck mimicked the goblin? Teddy. Cause uh, the costume for Ted uh, put him, cause it's a uniform, it put him in his human form. Some of the costumes for Teddy, it's human Teddy. Of course. <laughs> that was easy. But that was before we knew him as a goblin. Uh, Ken, that is. <laughs> But yeah, I wanna say... Naoto mimicked Aegis. Uh, Yukiko mimicked Mitsuru. Yosuke did Junpei's victory. Kanji's was Akihiko. I went too far. Obviously protagonists. Protagonists did protagonists. Wow! Chie did Yukari's, I think. I'm pretty sure it was Yukari's. I always call him Mithra. Two enemies down. Wait! Doesn't the Persona 5 protagonist call him Mithra? Ah! But you just said Mithra. Oh well. <laughs> But why they gotta do him dirty by having Ted get his animations? Damn, it's not going down. Lloyd says Mythos. Two enemies left. Damn, it's not going down. Oh wow. Uh, well, thirty-seven. We're so strong. I know he takes reduced lightning damage because of his accessory, but what the fuck? What the fuck? You're gonna <laughs> pay, damn it. They did remove the H in Mithra in P5, so he was Mitra. Because there was a persona called Mithra, so that was wholly different. You were right. Mithra and Mithra are in this game too, is he not? No, I'm thinking Pazuzu. Also, ow. Chia Chan's really hurting. Heal her. It's fine. The battle's over anyway. Man, Yosuke has a lot of SP too. What the fuck? I mean, he's... I, I understand why, but... <laughs> Five keys, let's go. Alright. Sleep well, Alice. Thanks for hanging out with us. 
Oh yeah, Mithras. Yeah, no, that's yeah, right. I was like, I was thinking Pazuzu. That's why. What this week to? Ice. But this thing is not. So Sonic Punch. She should be fine. She resists ice. Yes. It is your turn. Thank you. Yes, Mithras, the, the Comet Man. Oh, hey, Matador. Welcome back. I didn't even have to say it unless I got it, because I knew I was. Job, you did it. <laughs> he's the fastest. Doesn't necessarily mean he's the most accurate. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many accessories to sell. That's the third Harlot's Mercy. I repeat, the third Harlot's Mercy. Are there any, uh, is there even any weapons for the other characters in this dungeon? Like, I know Kanji's not gonna get one because of the iron plate. But unless my memory serves me wrong, there should at least be two, right? for something cool, watch this, fails and falls to their death. I can see why it got deleted, but that is tragic. I'd never delete a clip somebody made of that happening to me. <laughs> if, I, if I did something like that, I'd be embarrassed, but I understand that, that, that that's really funny. <laughs> Just be like, hey, watch this. <laughs> Whoops. Not because it was mean. <laughs> yeah, like... I don't know, it just sounds like it was, the, it was like... Confident. Maybe it wasn't done like... Over the top confidence, but it's like... It's li- oh, They thought it was funny, okay. Ice. Oh yeah, and then just... Sonic Punch. Persona. Someone else's turn. Four enemies. You gotta hang in there. You gotta fall. <laughs> it's just, it just sounds really funny. Where it's like, here, I want to show you something, and then it's like, that's not what I wanted to show you. Great nice one, Just wait. Hold on. <laughs> if you crit, that'd be awesome. Oh. That's, that's kind of like the thing, is like, you set up to be like, oh, look at this cool thing that's about to happen. <laughs> and then the thing, <laughs> oops. <laughs> it's the classic, hey, watch this. Proceeds to do something incredibly dumb. <laughs> in an attempt to show off. <laughs> but in video game format. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so slow. I shouldn't have been paying attention to which one was the penalty card.
It was something in Portal 2. That's... That's a good... That's a good sign. <laughs> the Portal is... That... Um, I can only imagine what it was they were trying to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, gosh. I want to play Portal 2, but I want to play it with somebody else. I don't want to... Well, no, there's the campaign, but then there's the... there's the co-op. And I kind of want to do the co-op. Yay or nay on weapons breaking mechanics? I'm assuming this has questions pertaining to Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild 1? Like the first one? Link's Awakening? No, that's a different game. But he does wake up in that game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's not what it's called, though. <laughs> no, I hate the- I hate the weapon fragility mechanic. But in Tears of the Kingdom, it sounds like you can craft weapons. Oh yeah, Oblivion has durability. Minecraft definitely has durability too. And for Tears of the Kingdom, it sounds like you can make your own weapons, which I don't mind stuff like that. Like if there's a way to repair it, sure. Sure. But for like, oh, I just picked up this random sword. It breaks after 60 hits or something like that. No. <laughs> and ima imagine a Diablo game where weapons break ridiculously quickly and imagine it being called Silent Hill Book of Memories. Mm. <laughs> you don't know how you feel about it? I... I, I some people like it, some people hate it. I will say this, people don't like Breath of the Wild because of the weapon durability. Some people learn to appreciate it, others found an exploit in order to duplicate a weapon so that way they didn't have to think about durability. <laughs> so that tells you what you need to know about people who like that game. You gotta ask. Did you have- did you do the thing? <laughs> I would do the thing. I didn't know about it when I played the game last, but I 100% would have done it. Well, that's why I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like the lack of dungeon. The music is... Adequate. There are some nice little themes that play, but the game is lar by and large mostly completely silent in terms of, like, BGM. This is going very fast. They do like a little piano. Probably one of the most terrifying themes for an enemy is in that game, and I'll admit that is a very good theme. It feels like a, oh shit, you're in trouble type of song, and that's exactly what it is, because the Guardians are an, oh shit, you're in trouble moment. <laughs> I hate them. They're very scary. But there's a there's a handful of things that are just about that game where I'm like, eh. I can't say much for what uh, Tears of the Kingdom is like. I do hope that they fix that issue of the e extreme lack of dungeons. No, the shrines are not dungeons. And not... Mm, <sighs> the Divine Beasts are mini-dungeons. I wouldn't really call them a dungeon dungeon. That was beautiful! 
He missed his shot so hard, he gave up and laid down. That's what that looked like. <laughs> Heard good things. He was looking at his stream, it got brought up a lot. My thing that I do appreciate is that people have been relatively... Well, actually, no, people have been really good about not spoiling the game. A lot of clips and videos that you find on the internet is mostly people building the dumbest structures known to man or making a meme out of it. Just, just either making cool stuff or making horrifying things. <laughs> uh... And it has not- it's never done- it- nothing has been, like, moments of the plot. It's just been people fighting stuff and having silly things happen. Or building something really cursed. <laughs> Which is- I- I- I like that. <laughs> It might be a sign that the plot's not stellar, or it's just a collective subconscious agreement of that um, the plot is a Legend of Zelda plot, but the gameplay is actually really fun because of what you can do in it. Which is a good sign. In that regard. I should have paid closer attention. I'm totally fine with that. I'm not fine with that, though. Pay attention to where... There we go. <laughs> Pay attention to where the persona is. <laughs> nice! That's actually a good persona to get strength up on. And it was by two, no less. It sounds like people are enjoying it. Will I enjoy it? I don't know. I don't know enough about it to take a good enough guess. I cannot assume. That's what I'll say. I cannot assume. Maybe. It's on Switch, right? But also... I have a ginormous backlog of games, and do I really need to be buying more on top of that? <laughs> yeah, also, it's expensive. I'm sad now. Yes, always. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> I could buy more things and still spend less money. <laughs> I should have used the physical. These guys don't have weaknesses. Ow! Leave him alone! What did he do to you? <laughs> D deletes them.
I'm close enough to the other one that this is gonna be two rounds. Another one. The same type of enemy. A mod for classic Doom. Oh. Oh. I didn't even mean to do that, but all right. Bye, Sarsvati. My house or Madhouse? Because Madhouse is a. Mad. I know Madhouse is a. Is it a difficulty? It is my house. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm used to hearing Madhouse or stuff like that. Although the modding community are you surrounding Doom? Yeah, that's an RE7 difficulty. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I knew for, from RE. There's a mad, a, a mad, a mod. Oh my god, there's a mod for Village, and Seven, that makes that difficulty even harder. But you dive in. It seems like a simple house map for Doom at first, but you dive into it and it's fucking wild. Nice. I want to kill that one back there. That's some thick skin. Rampage. <laughs> well, I suppose that's good enough, I guess. <laughs> I just got- I'm- I'm- I got I don't know, man. I don't know, okay? Uh, I could find it. And I bet I know who has a video on it. Okay, let me. Okay. RE8. Insane. Madness! That's what that's called. The hardest village mod madness difficulty. Which Maxi Lobes played and has a video of on his YouTube. <laughs> and it's <laughs> call this game Resident Evil Village and nothing else. And people called it eight, eight anyway. Fine. I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I just. I don't know. So many things confuse me. Are you serious? Excuse you. Dodging the attack? Someone else's turn. You. Crit this. No! That's one! You 
Well, it doesn't resist wind, so. There are some very silly mods for Village. People said that it was impossible to mod that game, and it didn't take very long for people to find out how to swap Chris and Baby Rose's face. Or, like, heads. Any cutscene with Chris in it is terrifying with that mod. <laughs> That would make the game better. It definitely enhances the experience in a way that cannot be described in words alone. I blame the character, <laughs> not the RNG. <laughs> they just lost the dice. They just lose the dice roll, that's all. <laughs> and I get that, but... Gotcha. Goodbye, Principality. I didn't realize you were there. Oh yeah! Reversed lovers. I forgot. <laughs> My bad. You know what? I want to try this. We're gonna experiment. It actually worked. Alright. I- you know what? Good job, Yosuke. I wish there was a way to put a passive on- on your teammates. What does reverse lovers do? Um... It... Causes strong shadows to spawn on your floor. I smell three enemies. You know what? Do it again! I wanna see it- I wanna see it in action. Do it again. Well... <laughs> That was on me. <laughs> that one was my fault. <laughs> Lightning doesn't strike twins. <laughs> Automod's just making sure that YouTube doesn't see things that I don't want it to see. Sometimes it just grabs random things, though. I will not lie. I had that... Pepega moment about... <laughs> Isis. You know, thinking about the persona that is based off of the goddess and not, you know. <laughs> In fact, I, if I had, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't like recorded that one. But I was literally like, "Why? That doesn't make any sense." It's a god, and then I realized, "Oh, uh, 
Oh. <laughs> My brain just had not. It had forgotten. Something's weird about and then it remembered. <laughs> in the middle of being Someone confused. <laughs> Great work. Yeah, better than some things getting through. If I had it turned off. It would be a lawless land, oh my goodness. Okay, Lovers is gone. No more strong shadows. There's the stairs. And the other side of the map of unexplored hallway. Hello, sir. Or madame. Both, maybe. I... Maybe, I don't know. I guess shadows... I forgot you had this. This is a defense stuff, though. Because I'm... Not re I did not read the skill at all. And assumed it was the other one. My bad. <laughs> Three enemies left. Go! It's fine, though. That's one. Try this again. Back to me. There we go. It's fine. Another card! No. I like being able to see my minimap, thank you. The chance to see the entire minimap for a few, uh, does not- it's not a worthy trade-off in case I lose the 50-50 for not being able to see the minimap at all. <sighs> I heavily rely on the minimap. <laughs> Oh, hello, you must be the last dredges of what got summoned up from the lover's card. It's fire, right? Yes. Of course. That's why I had... That's why I had Pyrojack on. Do I have another persona that knows fire? That spread fire. You, who has growth and doesn't have to be equipped. Do Pyrojack then. You'd say poor Hermit, but Hermit glad to be left alone. What's in this gold chest? The Book of Ruin. What does that do? And then, of course, I have the portrait medal, right? Yes. You know what? I'm gonna... It's mine now. I want it. Less HP, but who cares? It's only by 10%. And I'm what level exactly? Ah, yes, level 38.
Okay, got that one. Mabu. Yes. Oh, it's one of these. Where I have to actually get the persona in order to get the card. Do you have anything to say to your fans? <laughs> there are legions of you. <laughs> Another card! <gasps> yes! What is it? Alright. It was the correct persona, but the wrong skill that I was hoping for, but Masuka Kaja is good. We like that. Expected Megido or counter? Megido. Tauti doesn't have counter right now, I don't think. Oh no, it's these. Oh, here's hoping. Nope. Do not. Good. 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 Well, we are several levels higher than it, so that's that makes sense. Ice, maybe? I bet they're not weak to light. They are weak to ice, though. I appreciate that, because if Chie runs at us, then that's fine. I don't have anything with Mudo right now, I don't think. So, knowing that they're weak to ice as well helps. <laughs> Yeah, Mithra is the one currently with, um, counter. Counter and power charge. No, this is the fifth floor. Okay. So, so, um, I guess I'll just keep going. Wants to give me Legion. It's a shame that he's the lowest level persona, so I don't want Legion. <laughs> yeah. Chest key. Watch the stairs be behind this curtain. Yep. You know, when there's all of this everything else to explore. <laughs> For treasure.
low level leeching on everyone else. It's, it's good though. I feel like... What level were we at the start of this? And now we're almost level 40? Like, the only thing that's keeping me from... Attempting the boss right now is me. <laughs> to the surprise of oh, gee, eh? To the surprise of no one. <gasps> They're weak to fire. Get revenge. Pixie. Fool. Oh boy. All right, day nightfall. Sleep well. Hey, Yamato no Orochi's agility went up by three, which is the highest a stat can go up or down. Get wrecked, King I'm seriously Frost. seriously hurting here. Heal me already. Ah, uh, later. Ooh, soul food. And I'll handle the rest. There we go. I just needed to open the chest first, Yosuke. It's fine. It's totally fine. It was a little scary, but the worst part is over. About that fight. I can't say for the entire dungeon, seeing as how I haven't managed to get past the ninth floor. Mm. Not because it's, you know, hard. It's not like I've been dying. Someone else's turn. Okay, you know, I'm gonna... I have yes. Three enemies. Let's get through this. Good work, Sensei. All right. Good but he was too busy worrying about his health. He couldn't enjoy discovering what was inside the chest. Upright, please. I'll be sad if it's reversed. A nice. Don't care. I'm dying. <laughs> well, all right then. Heal yourself. You're the one with Diorama. <laughs> he just stands there like. You know, you just because you're right doesn't mean you had to say that. <laughs> Here goes. Persona. Two enemies don't get cocky. Go to town, Yosuke. Persona. Yeah. Cool, Yosuke. You beat two of them. Sent me to direct commands. Uh oh. Whew. That was a lot faster than I thought it was going to be. Goodbye, Hi Pixie. You were not with us for long. I think our healths are fine. One more level and she gets ice boost.
Yeah, our healths were fine. Even if I got it in upright, it wouldn't gain anything. And I would just lose too much from it being in reverse. That being all of my HP, because reverse reduces all, all party members' HP to one. Hello, birds. Okay, she can't use anything but a bufala anymore. But I have, I have a rochi, so it should be fine. Lightning. Do I have Mazio? I do. Okay, good. Mithra. Mithra. It's Mithra. Mm. Cool. <laughs> oh, and it's gonna be slow too. Oh, judgment. Oh, I don't remember what you did. SP or halves SP. It's worth the risk. Hey, Moon's gone, though, because of that. That's fine. But now we can go for a bit further. Unlike if it were death, and it would kick me out. <laughs> What is having an updated phone like? Pretty great, huh? I mean, it doesn't seem like anything changed visually. Oh shit, the hands! I didn't realize the hands were here. Them anyway. It's 
Yeah, it's ice. Okay. Switching to Mithra, though. And then I missed. Thank you. Okay, these guys are just prone to it, I suppose. <laughs> Bizarre animation. I now understand the question that the people in Q ask when they look at this thing. Which part of it is the body? Like, the mask is on the ball and chain. Decoration? I see. <laughs> okay, Arius is level 25. Got it. Well, goodbye, Matador. Nope. Not Hermit. We'd also... Uh, well, no, because the judgment was just a one-time thing, so... I just don't want it. <laughs> Stairs? Maybe? Yes. <laughs> Given the layout of the rest of this floor, that was the most li- that was probably one of the most likely locations, or it, it was- it is one of the more likely locations for the stairs, which means I want to go this way first. I'm afraid of them. Good work, Sensei. For the wrong reasons. It's a low chance. But they can just decide. And that's game over if it if it hits. And it's like Right. 
Oh my god. I know it was enraged, but that was 300 damage. There we go. Only three keys left. A flame pin! That's not bad. Another one. A bead. One key left, unless I get another key. In which then I'll have two. If only. Oh, yes, the seventh floor. Right, right. Hello. Speaking of getting a new key. good. 6,000 money and another key. But yeah, floor seven, where this is the stairs. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh. My bad. Five enemies? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh You. Get down. None of that. Now heal me. Weak to ice, though. That's one. They are, however, weak to fire. Except for the two they have red wall on. Which then makes them neutral to fire, but that's fine. Let me do it. No. Okay, I'll leave it to you. I had to think about it for a little bit, because I don't know who was- I don't know what was going next. Them, anyway. Are- I- okay. <laughs> you know what? Fine, whatever. I don't care. Good job, team. I think I'm gonna beat Risei's dungeon today? There are four enemies. It's a oh, I don't know, but I'll you. try win, I guess. Here goes. Some thick skin. Four enemies. 
Fire is no... Ice, maybe? He's a weak to lightning. We're pretty strong. <laughs> Depends on how late I'm going. This that's true. I should have tried ice, but I didn't. Oh well. Oops. I hit the button too early, but that's fine. Fuck. I'm... <laughs> Actually, shoot, I should have made... I should have made Yukiko join the party and then go back to the entrance. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I mean, oh, oh, no, no, we can tell when I got it. The previous save is the day before, so I was level 27. And I never went into the TV world between the 24th and the 25th. I did not go into the TV world, uh, obviously, because that's the Dojima residence in the evening. So yeah, in the span of 13 hours... Yeah, you were. This is level 27. I am more than 10 levels higher than I was before. And I know I'm playing on expert, but... Am I, am I making myself over-leveled? Maybe, probably. <laughs> But the, but the death arcana chance, it makes it so easy. I'm gonna triangle fusion. <laughs> Honestly, I could get hit with a fusion fail and I wouldn't care. Wow, Kaiwan and Huapo can only be used with Ares for Anubis. That's unique. Samael. I don't need Mamudo on this guy, but that's fine. Yeah, it's fine that he's death. It just means that I know for a fact that I have personas that I can use when I unlock death. Hello, Samael. You didn't really have much to say. You're cute, though. I think you're cute. You're not supposed to be, but you are. <laughs> Satanta with Gorgon? One more level, and I could be... And I could get Genbu and Yatagrasu. Dekarabia is at 46. Let me do a normal fusion and see what Huapo and Aries make. They make Mitra. I already have Mitra. I don't want to get rid of Tauti for Orthrus. It's... Yeah, no, it's not looking like I can fuse anything. Not really. Yeah, wow. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I could get some free levels if I do Oni, and I just need him to get Power Charge. 
But I'd have to work on Huapo so he could so You know what? No. No 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 that 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 that, that That's fine. Well he no, he's only level thirty. Hmm. Okay, there's how you get Satanta. Yeah, I forgot about Unicorn. I would want... Tetracorn... Mohama... Oh, that's right. That's why I was keeping Unicorn. Mazianga. But that's... Eh. At this point, eh. He's learning Counter-Strike, so he doesn't need Counter. Because those don't stack. Uh... Oh, he already has Zionga, so... Other than... Tetracarn, he has what I'd want on him. Will he learn Tetracarn, though? It's starting to not look like it. <laughs> oh, nope, there we go. Right, he doesn't- it's not power charge. I'm embarrassing the personas. Yeah, other than Rakuka- oh no, he is learning Rakuka. Okay, cool. Okay, there's something. something. I'd want power charge, though. Uh, black spot's not a spread skill. There it is. I lose Mabufula. Oof. Okay, Muragi. I have- Oh! She learns Mabufula at 38. I can get it back. I can get it back. We did not have you for long, Mithra, but you were able to pass on Power Charge. Okay, what now? How many Personas do I have? Seven out of twelve slots. The lowest level now is Gadon. Who with Gorgon could make Parvati? Does Parvati know? No. <laughs> I'd need to wait. <laughs> Alright. Uh oh. Why is it when I try to publicly shame you is when you start fixing yourself? Also, I need to move this over, I think. There's the sweet spot, I think. Maybe. Alright. 
Okay, so I know what I'm gonna work on next, which is Gorgon to get Mabufula back. Because the lack of it makes me sad. Data could not data cannot be saved correctly. Save failed. Well, maybe save it correctly next time. That's what I thought. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take my second break now, since I'm out of the dungeon and I just saved. And hopefully this uh dropping frames situation will fix itself. Because um yeah. Stop shaming technology. <laughs> I do what I want, Chumpy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna take a break here. And hopefully, uh, this whole frames thing will calm down. But who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I'm gonna take a break here. I need to feed the dog anyway. And we'll go... We'll go a little further... Maybe. This whole dropped frames thing is, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. I just realized when I have this thing up... You guys can see the recording as well. Well, YouTube, if you ever wondered how long my breaks were, I've taken two? I've taken two. Yes. I've taken two now, and they're roughly two hours apart. So, do the math. <laughs> I also don't immediately start recording. I usually start the stream and then record once the gameplay starts. I say. As if there aren't Recorded, recording VODs of, out there of me not playing the game and are just talking instead. <sighs> but yes. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we're still in a situation regarding the frames. I suppose I could do this. No, I'll keep it like this. This is fine. You can see how long I've been live for. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I want to make gameplay progress. Which means, sorry, Chie. This is the team. Which means none of that starting from the first floor. I'm gonna lower our output. See if that helps. Okay. I'm still gonna keep it up to shame it. Shout out to the 97.6% of frames that weren't dropped. Hell yeah. Oh, this is a combination of things. This will be over fast. Oh my god. Okay, lightning, probably. Ice. Wind. Oh yeah, what does Crazy Chain do? Chance of Rage. Tempting. This could backfire. The one that I didn't want to be enraged is... Darla! <laughs> Wait, 
hurry and defeat it. Okay. Okay. Two enemies defeated. Nice. Okay. Doesn't matter. Hello, Lamia. No, it's too early in the attempt to risk just losing all my HP. Alright, fire boost. Well, I don't need Maragi, because <laughs> it's got Maragi on. And then it learns Evade Ice, and that's all the skills it can learn. <laughs> cool. It seems to have evened out, but I'm still gonna keep that. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that up there. I'm shaming technology again. I don't know why I swung when it noticed me. G'day, G'don. Uh, is this thing actually weak to fire, though? It might be. Do not do an insignificant amount of damage. <laughs> I should have healed Yukiko. I should have gone up for the other one. I really should have gone for the other one. Counter. Val. I think he got a toy under the bed because he's digging. He's trying to dig. Is a dead end. Find the spot in the ceiling and go up saves you digging that current hole. <laughs> oh,
What does Emperor do? Consistent player advantage or consistent player disadvantage? Not on the ninth floor, no. <laughs> Shoot in the hole that catches any future toys that go under the bed! <laughs> I think he's given up and is pouting now. Here, sweetie. Here, no dad. Yeah. Here, baby. Here, baby. going though. Probably need to refill his water soon. He just ate, so he probably drank a bunch of water afterwards. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's I see the rare shadow. Gave you uh I wish they gave you um EXP though. It's just money. And a key. You wish that, and Reset was just super safe. All right. Oh, one enemy left. That's mean. I am down. You knocked it down. We have it. Was any here? Well, now I'm sad. My penalty. Ah. Uh, my rewards. Why did I do this? Okay. A gust pin again. I think I've exhausted the contents of most of, uh, of the rare chests. I should stop opening them. If I'm, if I'm being completely transparent, <laughs> I should stop doing that. <laughs>
Teddy. <gasps> He's slightly bigger. He's a bit tougher, I'm assuming. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, he is. 100%. Didn't mean anything, though. What? Why do I always, without fail, keep grabbing that? And that was the rare shadow. I should have just said no. Oh, uh, door in both directions. Okay, cool. Two enemy shadows. You get to go first. Go for it. True. See, this one's slower. What the fuck? Emperor, or chariot, sorry. Emperor is different looking. That's two stats that Gadon has had increased. Yeah, I'm gonna hide this. It's been green for a while. I don't think I've I don't think I've gotten any drop frames since lowering the uh bitrate output. This is a whole hallway. <laughs> Two enemy shadows. You get to go first. Persona. Let's do this. Yeah, it's a whole way. It's not that That's some thick skin. Wanna try fire? Okay. Fire has been attempted. <laughs> fire is the answer. Here goes Persona! Two more to go! 
There it goes. That one. So far. And there's that one. Nice. That is the stairs. What a windy, wo windy road. A windy road. <laughs> do I know? Okay, does it sh if it shows the mini map, does it show if there's treasure or do I have to check manually still? I wonder if I do. Let's let's find out together. Cuz this will confirm if the hermit Chancing Hermit is just completely useless, no matter what. Oh, nope, it does not reveal chests until you actually approach that hall. Uh-huh. I need Magaru. I don't have that. I do have Mahana, though. Because <laughs> that basically confirms that I never want to roll. I never want to roll the dice on Hermit. Because it's either it either ruins me or it really isn't that beneficial. Because yeah, I'll see the whole map, but it won't show me where the chests are on the map. Cool. Yeah, exactly. If it showed me where the chests were, yeah, that'd be fine, but... <laughs> Glory. And I have enough soul stuff. I will save. D 
did three do that? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Because, um, there was no mechanic that revealed the entire map on the floor, I don't think. And if it was send your guys out to fill the map out for you, they'd open the chests as they came across them. And they'd pocket money. Oh, when it was like, surprise, this floor has been mapped out? I want to say that it did, actually, tell you where chests were. Let's go. I don't know if Teddy... Okay, I think that girl named Risa is ahead of here. But I'm not certain. Raise the curtain and enter? Well, we don't raise it. It parts, don't it? Yeah. There it is! Look! The real one's here, too! All eyes are on me now! Stop it! Aw, what's the matter? You want to show your stuff, don't you? How's this? Please, stop this! <laughs> oh, she wants me to stop! That's so funny! As if that's even close to what you're really thinking, you little skank! You're me, and obviously I'm you! No, that's not true! <laughs> Come on, look! You can't tear your eyes away! This is me! This is who I really am! Oh yeah, I forgot about this boss's sound effects. Not Rosette, the fake celebrity! Look at the girl right in front of you! I'm sick of being some airhead cliché who chokes down everything she's fed and takes it all with a smile! Rosette? Who the hell is she? There's no such person in this world! I'm no one but myself! Come on, look at me! That's not... I... Well then, I guess it's time to prove it. I'm gonna show it all off! Let my naked truth be burned into your brains! Stop! Stop it! As all six of us in the back just stand there like... Should we... Intervene? You're... Oh shit, no, we should! <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> Like she had issues of her own after all, but we'll stop her from going berserk. So I was like this too. Oh man. Oh, you're going to rush the stage? What an ill-mannered guest. Maybe you're looking for an experience that's a little more intense. 
Uh, well, I have uh, a persona on. Hmm. Try rushing? and then targeted Kanji. <laughs> Enjoying yourself? I'm genuinely surprised. I've got a ways to go until I show my true self. You ain't <laughs> I was kidding, but it's working. <laughs> oh, there goes Maragi. Supreme Insight. Okay, yeah, I don't have to hit her. I could have just blocked. What's the deal here? Our attacks keep missing. Actually, we tried to, and then we just guarded until this scripted thing happened. <laughs> Damn. It's like it's anticipating our every move. Your friend gave you a DS and two Pokemon games? Nice! <laughs> I'm completely useless! What the? That power! I think it's scanning us! Oh, this is not good! When you say not good, what exactly does that mean? Woohoo! Analysis complete! Okay! my counterattack. See if you can dodge, hmm? <laughs> Stop it! You gotta be kidding. How are we supposed to win? Are we going to die? No! You guys can't die! What can I do? Ooh, Sexy. nice! Black and white are good! Get out of here! Uh, abandon you? Only I'd get away? I can't do that! Am I going to be all alone again? No, that's not what I want! Shit! It's winding up again! I... I... Okie dokie! Here we go again! Goodbye! Forever! Oh shit, it's coming! M 
my body's moving on its own. <laughs> Why am I stepping forward? <laughs> Whoa! I, I feel like I'm going berserk. <laughs> I, I'll do it. Take a good look at Teddy's last stand. This high energy reading. Is it coming from that weird thing? Teddy, the hell are you doing? A valiant Teddy! sacrifice. <laughs> Teddy, no! living in the walls you think you're alone try being alone all year did i did i help you didn't just help you saved our lives oh my god oh <gasps> i just really i don't think teddy does a special voice for the fact that he is squish right now in golden Neat. Scrunched Teddy voice. <laughs> Teddy. I don't know. I don't remember if he did a if he did a, a, a special voice for flat Teddy. What? What in the world? No! My fine silky fur! I was so proud of it! <laughs> Looks like he's gonna be just fine, I guess. Risechan, where am I? I'm sorry. It's all my fault. It's not your fault. No, it's still something that I did. Here, stand up. I'm sorry. You must have been in a lot of pain up to now. You're part of me. You fight, make I a fine wrong to bear. <laughs> no. Let's go to the video. <laughs> I was trying to figure out who the woman was. But I realize now that I was on the wrong track. There is no real me. Just doesn't exist. There's no real me. You, me, even Rosette. They were all born from me. All of them are me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Himiko, hey, hello. John, careful. I'm all right. Hey, you're the one who came to this store, right? Oh, yeah. And these guys came with me. You briefly introduced yourself. I recognized you guys. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We'll explain everything later, but for right now, uh... what's wrong, Chie? There's no real me. Hey, Teddy. No, get back. Something's coming out of him. Real me? <laughs> Such <laughs> foolishness. What is that thing? Don't tell me. Is that the other Teddy? Teddy's hidden thoughts? I believe so, but it seems it's like there's the more. shadow. Some powerful presence intervene. Hello, Shadow Teddy. 
about I don't understand a word you're saying you're just making it sound difficult because I'm not that smart I... shadow Teddy is well Because Teddy was originally a shadow, it's that him awakening to his ego separates himself from what makes the shadows in this world shadows. It is those efforts that I am calling useless. You are hollow, empty. At your core, you know this. You just cannot accept it, so you seek an alternate form, a denial of your nature. You have no lost memories. If you have forgotten anything, it is this truth. That's... it's a lie! Shall I spell it out for you? You are but a mere... Shadow. I said shut up! Teddy! It is the same for you all. You undergo suffering because of your search for the truth. This world is filled with thick, heavy fog. Because he's a shadow of a shadow, so he knows. How can you find something when you know not what you search for? The truth has to exist. There's a way to find it. And thus, you invite more suffering upon yourselves. It is beyond my comprehension. Then I will grant you one truth. You will all die here. You sought the truth, only to find death. That's why he doesn't need Teddy to say you're not me. How are we supposed to fight something like this without Teddy? It's all right. Get ready, everyone. Hey, it's funnier don't than tell me you're fighting with us. You can't take it. I'm okay. I should be able to take that bear's place. Man. <laughs> it's my turn to save you all. I mean, bear Sona is a is a pun because he's a bear, right? Also, hi Shadow Teddy. I am a shadow, the true self. I shall give you the truth you claim to hold so dear: the inescapable fact of your death here. I guess he was a lot more troubled than he looked. We have to save him! I am not rushing this, by the way. <laughs> Accept your end with dignity. He looks like he's all broken up over this. Oh yeah, I have foul breath. Mind charge, though. Oh, nice! Full heal! I forgot about that. Oops. <laughs> Here goes. 
You went to fire. I get the feeling that you're not. Here goes. Well, may as well test. Okay, well that's... Mm. Make it Sonic Punch. It's a strong one. Don't lower your guard. Hmm. 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 Kill rush. Fuck. <laughs> well, that's not good. Go for it. Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> in the eye. I've definitely heard Persona Persona before. I had I that yeah. But I am now. I've always just been like, yes. <laughs> I know what that's mean. Oh good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Thank you. That's... Ah, uh, well... Ah, uh, mm. It is used in every party in review that it exists. Yeah. Like, I will say, the whole, like, they're aware of the memes that are made but that doesn't necessarily mean that they always go for the ones that are particularly funny. They just kind of go like, yeah, that one was popular. Go for it. He is still quieted. Most Persona memes aren't funny. Got it in one. <laughs> I am now. Persona. And guys, Scrooge. Did you know that we're phantom thieves? I don't know. I checked it. I checked some subreddits recently. The eye goes help. Yeah. I think they only. Did you see? Shinji, that was funny is, and it's more like aw, is when when your best friend didn't see that, and it's just the this is the disappointed Akihiko face, and it's like no, it just makes me sad. I am now. What's one that I thought was funny? Stop eh. this futile struggling. I like the, uh, I like the Futaba and the cooler Futaba. <laughs> the image being of Baofu.
Oh shit. I ha I was able to get an attack and I did that in golden too. Do I still have my charge? No. Reapply it. Do the little dance, goat man. I used to have some saved on my phone. <gasps> let me see if I can find one. And let me see if they're good. I'll look specifically in my Persona 4 one. from Persona 4. I don't have any saved. I wonder why. Oh, come on. Surely I have one saved. No, I just have four comas, because the four comas are <laughs> actually funny. The Marin Karen meme. Oh no, the one that I do have is the is the play drama of Persona 4 Arena. If Sonata-san keeps going around like this in public, his chances of being arrested shall increase. If that happens, should I pretend I don't know him? Don't worry, I have my cape. You call that a cape? You call a cape suitable clothing? You're scary. Well, it is a bit cold. Problem solved. I don't know him. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and it's not a meme. <laughs> Here goes. It's in Persona 4 Arena how- you know how Akihiko dresses in that game? They added this scene where I guess is like, we probably shouldn't associate- It's basically, we probably shouldn't associate or claim to be associates of Akihiko. I'm going to pretend to not know him. <laughs> because she's like, he'll get arrested because he, she's walking around shirtless. And Akihiko argues, no, this is fine. And Mitsuru's like, it is most decidedly not. <laughs> And then I guess just ending with problem solved. I don't know him. I am now. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's a great scene. <laughs> yes, I had to stop the fight so I could find and read that out. <laughs> Whoa, I missed something. When I see people complain about it, it comes obvious they brute, for brute forced it with act freely. I know people get reactions out of Marin Karen. And I will say... In Fez... She does use it a lot. And it misses a lot. However, they are just behaving based on what their AI thinks is most suitable, which is apply apply status ailment or debuff, apply buff, then attack. Here 
That's true. You can manipulate the AI. I thought uh, that uh, it's just something that I I don't know. Sorry. All pain. Oh shit. Hey Tauti, are you immune to no? Did I mind charge? No, I just attack. So uh yeah, I'm gonna guard. So he just used mind charge, so he's probably trying to. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna move the again. Even defending, that's a little scary, but. go back to it after portable, but yeah, you can beat the game with it. Ooh, that's bad. That's very not good. Why would you do that, Teddy? Yeah. Okay, iteming, 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 iteming. Me. What? How can you summon such strength for such a futile endeavor? All right. You. This is bad. Okay, metal coquette. I have no idea. risk two people for this. You're gonna tell me when it's gonna attack, right, Rise? Nope. No, she didn't. It was worth it, though. Okay, I'm pulling off a final mind charge.
Okay, mind charge, eh? I mean, I never read it off as humorous. I am down. It was just kind of like. Why do you still resist, even should you win? Not what suffering awaits. Oh, why did you do that, Yukiko? Again? No, not me. Because we weren't silenced. Okay, this is the turn that he attacks. Oh. That might just be- that's probably just like an automatic reaction. <laughs> okay. Good. Alright. Switch back to you. Taking a while. I'll I'll say that. <laughs> mm. Mm. Sure, it's strong. Might hurt, but I need to use this so I don't lose my mind charge. Face that he makes. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oof. Oh. Oh, I switched to the wrong persona. It's just a huge damage sponge. Yeah. Is, isn't it? <laughs> it wants to teach you a new mechanic of it's gonna do a move that will mess you up unless you get the timing right. Uh, yep. <laughs> Maybe hit a... No, that's not worth it. Just attack. Son 
We have no Nav. Risa is being weirdly quiet. <laughs> Ah, you. We need HP for you. She's writing her 250 lines. Oh, I'm silenced now. That's cool, because I can't even switch my persona. I'd rather be silenced while I'm on... Something else, alas. <laughs> Let's do this. Thank you. Here goes. Persona! Smack. Uh, heal yourself, because this is, like, turn five of Yukiko being silenced. Nice dodge. Another reason why Yosuke is here. I forgot about the silence, but I, I sort of... I suppose you could say I predicted it. <laughs> or more like, I never don't bring Yosuke. Oh my god, finally. Well, excuse you. Almost dead. Or at least stop having that I forgot that he looks at you. Can my silence be cured, please? <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god, finally. He has no physicals, but that's fine. Because he's dead. <laughs> Goodbye, Shadow Teddy. Side. He screamed like an enemy in House of the Dead, too! I don't know who I am. I've thought a number of times that maybe there is no answer. But I'm here. I live here. You're not alone. Then I don't have to do this all on my own? AKA typing of the dead. Ah, yes. Dude, we'll help you figure it out. I'm sure we'll find out about you as we continue investigating this world. Y you guys, I'm, I'm one lucky bear. <laughs> Is that? Persona. The courage of heart to support one's friends has been made manifest. Kintoki Doji! There's a chance it could be insane. <laughs> Is this my 
persona? I can sense strong power from it. It's awesome, Teddy. Whoa! Are you alright? Oh yeah, your persona just awakened too. I'm so sorry. You must be worn out. Yeah, let's hurry outside. Are you feeling okay, Risa-chan? We're almost outside. I'm alright. I'm more worried about Teddy. You okay there? We gotta go back for now. I wanna be alone for a while. Uh, hey. My beautiful fur is all rough and coarse. And my nose hasn't been working too well either. So while I wait for my fur to grow back, I'm gonna train hard. Nobody can stop moi. Here goes. <laughs> All right, we'll leave him to it then. What's gotten into you? Don't talk to me, please. One more set. Another one. Yeah. Leave the dude be. Well. Comes a time when a man's got to stand, stand on his own, on his own, two, own feet. two feet. Uh, I'm not sure this is really one of those times. Well then, Chie and I will take research on home. Yeah, she'll need a lot of rest. We can talk after she regains her strength. Well, um, good luck, Teddy. Yes, good luck, Teddy. Just kick back and wait for my wonderful comeback. Peace out. Good luck. I said this before, but I can sense something special about you, Sensei. There must be something that only I can do. That's how I feel when I'm with Sensei. You're not gonna regrow bonds that were never there. That's why I'm gonna. You get will always be boneless swings. <laughs> Teddy is looking at you with fire in his eyes. Star two. Star two. Here goes! You should leave him be. In any event, you were able to rescue Rise safely. Now you must wait for her to recover. The mystery deepens. Will she be able to provide new insight into the case? Let me check... what I need. 625, eh? <laughs> Whoa there! Careful now, Dojima-san. Oh, this is one he's. Ow. Yeah. Damn it! Who who built a step here? That'd be the carpenter, sir. Come on, don't take your anger out on the house. That won't solve anything. Nanako, we were gone way longer than your dad. <laughs> well, welcome back. <laughs> oh, hi, Nanako-chan. Sorry, but could you go get his futon ready? Sup, family friend. Whew. I think he had a little too much to drink. <laughs> But why was he drinking? How else am I supposed to deal with this crap? Friggin' fancy talking kid. Now tell. I I've been in this line of work 
since you were all learning your times tables. The prefectural police sent in special investigational support. Because, you know, we haven't really made any progress on the serial murder since they started in April. <laughs> Time moves differently there. <laughs> Anything between one second and 900 years, and there's four hours in the real world. Yeah. So this special support is supposedly a hotshot detective from a well-known private agency. But you should have seen the look on my face when I met him. He's only a kid your age. I hear he's a pretty sharp cookie, though. No, oh, he's a brat like any other. Ain't nothing he can do to help. He goes on and on about deductions and deductions. <laughs> Ace or no ace, the prefecture ought to be more careful about giving us brats to babysit. Cond condescending bastards. The kid said as long as he can be of assistance in solving a difficult case, he won't require a reward. Well, you can imagine the shine the higher-ups took to him after that. So we can't exactly turn him down. Godachi! <sighs> Sorry. Big mouth. You run your jaw like this is all some kind of joke. It's your fault to begin with for jumping the gun and hauling in that peeping Tom. Oh, <laughs> um. And you? <laughs> you can take your share of the blame, too. Always wandering around crime scenes whenever something happens. He was scolded by Dojima. His futon's ready. All right, Dojima son, up and at him. Nanako chan got your futon all ready for you. Not my fault crime scenes are everywhere in this town. Yeah, he talks as if we live in like this huge area and we just happen to keep going towards crime scenes. I mean, it's not like we aren't, but at the same time, it's like this is already considered a small town in the countryside. How does one avoid running into crime scenes? Sure does stink like sucky in here. Mm-hmm. You should open a window. Oh my god, it forces you to the next day. Oh, because it's Sunday, right. Today is when I'm supposed to do Hermit 5, but I'm going to do Hermit 4 instead. But I am going to save because it's 10.30. And I was almost level 40? Am level 40? It's because there isn't Grimp. Sake is not an English word. I'm level, what am I level, what is my level? Status. I am level 39. Okay. Or is it that some translations add an accent over the E? Oh. <sighs> Oof. I have no- I don't know that I've played a game that wrote it like that. Wikipedia also s says also spelled sake. Okay. I'm supposed to help people pronounce it, but yeah. Accent- accent markets are not in the Japanese language because, well. Romanji is just automatopoeia of the word because the written language is so different from this. You get what I'm trying to say. For sake. <laughs> okay, 
Yeah. That's not a bad amount of money. It's not a bad amount of money. I can't do- I can't fulfill the requests that are at school. Yeah. Sake and sake. Words are hard, and the English language is- well, it's probably not actually the worst, but it is one of the hardest. Because we have so many fucking words that, based on how it's pronounced, even if they're spelt the same. It's the- what was the one thing of, like, if you take the certain context of certain letters... You could use the... Though this one's a reach. It was something where it's like, depending on like how you pronounce certain combinations of letters... Ghost? Can sound like fish or something like that? What is that? What is the fucking meme? Weird word pronounced fish. Yeah. G H O T I is an artificial word. That's how it's spelled. Used to illustrate irregularities in English spelling. It is a respelling of the word fish. So. G-H pronounced F as in tough, O pronounced... Uh, I as in women. T-I pronounced... Sh as- as it's used in nation, using the same message. The same method, G-H-O-T-I can be a silent word, where... G-H as in though, here, O as in people, T as in ballet or mortgage, I as in business or plaid. So it could just be completely silent. It just could just not- you couldn't even pronounce it, because it's all the silence thing. Yeah, it's a huge stretch, but it's supposed to be like a- yeah, English is not easy. Because we do make combinations of letters have multiple pronunciations based on the context of the word that you're- t It's like you ripped it apart and threw it together with flex tape! <laughs> but yeah, G-O-H-T-I. Applying the logic of how those combinations of letters separately, specifically G-H-O and T-I, it could sp it could be pronounced fish. It's not a real word, though. <laughs> because it's ignoring... It's ignoring the fact that... The sh sound specifically for T-I... I was taught in English is... T-I-O-N. But you'd have to add, like, Sean. It's like, it's- it's a following thing. But then there's also the fucking I before E except after C. Unless it sounds like A, like a neighbor and way. And then like a bajillion other fucking exceptions, one of them being science. <laughs> In which it is still I before E, even though there's a C before it. <laughs> English is just. <laughs> We have rules, and then we break them! <laughs> it's we have rules, and rules are meant to be broken. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> rules are side quests. Ugh. <sighs> It's like asking somebody, how do you how do you spell Q? Like, you've been put in a Q, or a, like a wait list. You're queuing for a match. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. It's weird. It's a weird spelling. It, it just means Q. And it's one of those words that if you type it out, you're like... That doesn't sound- that doesn't seem right. <laughs> and it's like, no, that's actually how that's- that's how that word is spelled. Q. <laughs> uh, the English language. Alright. YouTube. You played enough Roller Coaster Tycoon as a kid, it's normal. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna applaud uh, my internet while also shaming it. We were pretty stable after the decrease in my output for the bitrate at 4,000 instead of its original 6. Uh, but I still ultimately lost, as of 5 hours and 44 minutes and 15 seconds, 21,187 frames. 1.9% of the entire stream. Yay. Yeah, I lost a few more. It evened out, but I lost a few more. But yeah, now whenever my bitrate goes to shit, we can publicly shame it. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, well, with that, say goodbye to YouTube, everybody! Because I'm ramping up. Whoa! <laughs> yes, goodbye, you two. Goodbye.